The Yukon Huskies haven't played since December 19 due to a number of cancellations and postponements in conference play because of COVID protocols, with them only just getting back into action in a couple of days' time. This has obviously been frustrating for us Husky fans as we want to see our team back in action. But rules are rules and we gotta stick by our players as we wait for them to reschedule games and get the season underway again. With that said though, there is one major silver lining from these interruptions to me. And in my opinion, it could help the Huskies majorly in the lead up to March. So I want to discuss that in today's video. Before we start, if you're new here and enjoy the video, be sure to subscribe. For more women's basketball content like this, I'd love to reach 2,000 subscribers on this channel, so all support would be greatly appreciated. Anyway, with that being said, let's talk about the Yukon Huskies. To cut to the chase and to avoid unnecessary explaining, the silver lining for the Huskies in this period of uncertainty is the recovery of their injured players, mainly AZ Fudd, Paige Beckers and Nika Mule. As a result of the postponements of games, these three will return to the Yukon lineup fully healthy and raring to go, which is a level of health they haven't been at all year, aside from Paige, who suffered a freak injury. Having these two players return at full strength for more games this season is going to be critical for UConn entering the March Madness tournament, as it will allow them to peak and play at the right time, and in turn, be at their best in the most important matches of the year. So, what impact are these girls going to make when they come back to the lineup? And why will having these extra games under their belt as a result of postponements and cancellations be beneficial to them? Starting with Nika Mule, she has still been recovering from her foot injury from the previous season, as well as some other injuries here and there, which is why her minutes have been sporadic throughout the season and her play overall has been a bit inconsistent. In her freshman season, we all got a great glimpse of what Mule is like when she's at her best, but these recent injuries have caused her to struggle to get back into ultimate form. With this extended break though, Nika hasn't been as rushed returning to the court, meaning she's more likely to be fully healthy and make a larger impact. Mule is a spark plug for the Huskies, a high energy player who's able to make momentum swinging plays for the team. She's a hard player, always hustling on both ends of the floor, and can also shoot the ball decently too. Her three-point percentage rose greatly in the second half of the season, once she had settled into UConn's system. I think we can expect to see more and more of that now, once she gets back into her stride, which will be important to UConn, who have struggled a tad defensively this season. I think a lot of people have forgotten how fantastic of a player Mule can be, and what her impact looks like even if it doesn't show up in the box score. So hopefully, we start to see her make that same impact again now that she's officially fully healthy. Again, Mule's impact isn't always in the stat sheet, but if you watch the games, you'll know how large of a presence Mule has whenever she steps onto the court. So, we'll see that again hopefully, when she finally returns tomorrow against Creighton. As for AZ Fudd, she's been held back a bit by some nagging issues and that turned into a more serious injury, which is why she's been out for quite some time now. Apparently, through around four games this season, AZ had been dealing with her now known foot injury, so that's probably a reason why she's been a bit inconsistent and passive and overall seemingly not herself so far this season. She was meant to play just before Christmas, but was kept out for more time. So I think the cancellations have done her some good, as I think she's definitely been a lot less rushed back to the floor. As a result, we should see a major impact from AZ Fudd come in the next couple of months, as she gets into her rhythm fully healthy. Though she may start off a bit slow, as expected after a serious injury like hers, her ability to shoot from range poses another offensive threat for the opposition that Yukon can utilize. I think after a couple of games, we'll start to see AZ become more than just a spot-up shooter and run plays, particularly with Paige Beckers still out. So Yukon may run more plays for Fudd that get her attacking the basket more and overall just get downhill, like she did a lot in her high school career. She has a really nice finish inside and is creative in those situations, 
whether that's playmaking or scoring with an array of floaters and layups. And those plays will give her a boost of confidence, enabling her to become the consistent second or third option UConn has needed behind Paige. Overall, the silver lining for AZ Fudd and UConn here is his lack of games lately has allowed for Fudd to not be rushed back. This means she's more likely to make an immediate impact, and then, with more games to play in because of the potential postponements, she'll likely be in better form for March, which will be crucial for the Huskies, as to me, AZ Fudd is one of the bigger X-Factor players on this team. Finally, I'll briefly touch on Paige Beckers. I don't want to make Paige the main talking point of this video because I think her return and impact is obvious and is a lot more discussed than AZ's and Nika's. Plus, she's going to be out for at least a month longer than those two. But still, I can't just gloss over the fact how important Paige's return will be and how amazing these postponements may turn out for her. As a result of them, when Paige does return, she may be able to play more games on the season than anticipated which will obviously do wonders for her and the Huskies who have desperately needed her impact as of late. These extra games for Paige before March Madness will give her the added opportunity to get back to preseason levels, so when March does come around, she's back in top form to lead UConn toward a national championship. It may just be a couple of extra games, but it could be what UConn needs to regain their top form with her back in the lineup. Essentially, what I'm trying to say in this video is that with these postponements, UConn are going to play more games at full strength, featuring the three players I've mentioned today. That's going to be huge for them in terms of getting in a rhythm for March and playing their best basketball, as well as giving these injured players time to develop more confidence and play their best individual basketball consistently. In turn, this should help propel the UConn Huskies back into the national championship hunt with the likes of Stanford and South Carolina. It's just a little thing from these cancellations that may go a long way in the long term, and I feel like it's been quite overlooked a bit, especially with AZ Fudd's return and Nika Mules in the coming weeks. So hopefully, I've been able to explain why this unfortunate break in action may actually be a blessing in disguise for the Huskies today. And that will conclude the video. What do you guys think of this? How important will the returns of Nika Mule and AZ Fudd be for UConn moving forward? Let me know all your thoughts down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave it a like and subscribe. But with that being said, I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.